the seminar Literacy and Learning within years three, four, five and six. This is a practical seminar. It outlines how to implement PLD's Structured Synthetic Phonics program within middle and upper primary classrooms. The seminar outlines what to teach throughout the school year, when and how to screen, how to report on student progress, and how to cater for that inevitable range in ability. There is a focus on screening and tracking within the course. It commences with a focus on a placement test and then progresses into how to interpret and mark a range of te spelling test samples but also more complex students um, and students that are operating at a junior primary level, how to interpret and mark these spelling samples as well. The course progresses into placement of test results onto PLD's tracking sheets that can be downloaded from the PLD site. And then importantly, how to cluster like students together, clustering higher and average and lower students. And yes, they all have a different profile with their test scores, but when looking at and analyzing those test scores, how to establish a targeted teaching plan for the term ahead, which draws upon those test results and ultimately will determine the type and level of words that those students are presented with. So PLD will recommend three targeted teaching groups, not six, but three. And whether those words are, are drawn from the Time Savers books or the phonic sight word sequence, um, but three levels. It will also be explained how to situate 30 minutes of structured synthetic phonics teaching within a literacy block. So this is not the whole literacy block, but a proportion of the literacy block. And what does that teaching look like within a literacy block? The course also looks at What's the weekly routine? Because we don't want to do fortnightly spelling, but weekly spelling. And what's the Monday to Friday routine? Monday and Tuesday focused on the sound structure and also the phonics contained within those words. Midweek, the vocabulary of those words. And later in the work week, transference into writing tasks. It is compulsory and imperative that phonic dictation passages, not just the word list, but the phonic passages are integrated within the weekly routine so that those lists of words transfer across to passage level reading and passage level writing. The course outlines how to present dictation and how to get the most out of that. Importantly, as students progress into stages three, four, five, and six, the words become more complex. There is a focus on vocabulary, how to teach or have an integrated vocabulary focus with those phonic based list words. For the lower ability students that are within the class, a reading assessment is also presented, which looks at how accurately students are reading, but also their automaticity of reading those words, whether it is whole word reading or blending each letter or reading within chunks. And the information from that can be used to provide either decodable reading books that are age appropriate for middle and upper primary students, but that are designed with lower levels of phonic content or using the PLDs phonic passages and facilitating um, repeated reading. Read it Monday and time it, read it Tuesday and time it, and each time becoming more familiar with those phonic concepts, but ideally ho and hopefully reading faster and more fluently. As was mentioned, PLD offers a range of decodable reading books that are designed for eight to 14 year olds, but where the, but for students where th their skills are somewhere, exercises two, three, four, five or six on that screen. 
reporting on skill development and using the PLD tracking sheets is imperative and it's central to the PLD process. If you are new to PLD, within this seminar, you will have explained to you the teaching, the testing, the tracking, it will all be explained. But for those attending for an update, or if you are already implementing PLD, I encourage you to bring along your your um, tracking sheets and your testing results, it will be possible within the day to receive feedback on your class's profile and to, to refine or get feedback on your targeted teaching plan um, and the interpretation of the, those ranging um, student results that you have gained from your, your testing. Because there is that connection of oral language skills to written language skills, also in the afternoon section, there will be a focus on vocabulary, sentence structure, and listening comprehension, and also narrative skills. It is hoped that within this learning that educators will be in a position to more effectively deliver PLD structured, targeted phonics teaching to the students within their care. If you found this information useful, don't forget to click the subscribe button and check out our related videos shown here. If you have any questions or feedback, please add them to the comments below and we'll be sure to respond. Otherwise, you can reach us via live chat on our website, pld-literacy.org. Thanks again for viewing.